thoughts on the team's running game uh, on Friday afternoon? I don't know that Chris Brown's teams have ever rushed for enough yards in his eyes in a game ever, but just the overall general thought on the running game from, from Friday. Um, that's an area we definitely could improve on from last week to this week. Um, I feel like as a whole, um, after breaking the first level, and credits to Angelo State's defense, they were very good and they were flying around. But after you break the first level, it's just like the second level is right there. And if I wasn't breaking tackles, then there would be three to four yards maximum. What's your comfort level at the position now in your, your second season as a running back? Uh, I would say very comfortable. Just. Uh, for me, it's just like when I'm in the game, it's just like, give me the ball. Just give me the ball. Like, I'm, I would say I'm confident. So. so last year, the run, the run game started off kind of slow, got better as the season progressed. Uh, you faster start this year to the run game, getting better, obviously. What will it take, I think, for as a unit, offensive line, running backs, everybody, to uh, improve? Um, I think, I think you'll see major improvement this week. Um, you know, I think we just need one real game under our belt. I mean, that was a top 10 defense last year and I think our line's going to know what to fix and, um, our running backs are going to be able to be more patient and let them get to the second level and hit the holes we need to hit. What kind of communication is there or if any in a game between running backs and offensive linemen as far as what each of you are seeing and, and maybe what needs to be changed in game? Um, there's there's communication. Um, for instance, um, like for a lot of protections, they'll either flip the protection or pretty much every play they'll tell me who the ID is, which is like pretty much who the Mike linebacker is. And then from there, I know who I need to block. And then um, for runs, we have a couple of runs where if the tackle sees um, a DN lined up in a certain way, he'll switch the call to something else or tell the quarterback to switch it. So, With the injury to Travis, do you feel any more pressure or weight on your shoulders at that position? Uh, I wouldn't say, like, pressure. Um, you know, it's definitely very unfortunate that he got hurt. Um, but I just, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm conditioned and ready to take as many reps as they need me to take. And we also have some younger running backs that – have been doing good at practice and learning the offense pretty well that I'm confident in. Did you work on anything specific in the offseason to help improve your game this year? Um, I would say it was just a lot more footwork based. Um, I watched a lot of film, I watched a lot of like film on running backs like Christian McCaffrey, Le'Veon Bell also. But I would say in off seasons past, I worked a lot on strength training and all that, but this season it was mainly just speed training and footwork and running back drills. What do you like about playing running back and what do you consider your strengths at the position? Um, I like scoring touchdowns. Um, I like making plays. I would say my strengths are that um, I'm never going to let anybody tackle me on the first tackle. I feel like I'm good at getting yards after contact and using my speed to my advantage. Have you watched film on Missouri Western and what does their defense look like? Yeah, yeah I have watched a little bit. Um, you know, we got to respect all of our all of our opponents, but um, I feel like we should be able to handle them. I feel like, um, you know, we've seen their defense before. It's pretty much the same as last year's, but they have some pieces missing. Um, at the end of the day, we just have to play our game and it's us versus us. Seems like turnovers the last couple of years have been, you know, the last five years have been key in, in, in Fort A State not winning the game. What's, what's the key there to hang on to the ball and just, you know, not hurt yourself in a game like this? Yeah, obviously, you got to make sure we protect the ball and uh, limit turnovers um, or eliminate turnovers. But, um, yeah, I would say every year with Missouri Western is that we beat ourselves. So like I just said, it's just us versus us. We got to focus on our own game and not let us beat ourselves. So, Based on their defense, what's, what do you think is the best way to attack them? Is, they, is it running game or passing game? Um, well, you know, you got to establish a running game to be able to do what you want to do. So I think we'll establish that and it'll open up the pass game for sure.
There's expected to be a big crowd here last Thursday night. Mother Nature intervened. There's a lot of anticipation. Is there maybe even more so now for this Saturday because of, you know, I don't know, the 500 people who showed up, which grateful for <laughs> but at the same point, it's not the five, 6,000 or the usually at those home openers for, for four days. Is there almost more of an anticipation as a team now because of, of that? Um, yeah, I mean, when I sat between the lines, I don't even realize who all is in the stands, but um, it'll be exciting for sure to have more of a a crowd. Um, I mean, can't really blame people for not being able to be there. You know, people traveled to see us and they got canceled. And but I think it'll be fun. It's a Saturday, it'll be a nice night, and it'll be awesome to ball out in front of our crowd. Last game was the first game where the iPads were allowed on the sidelines so you could go back and watch plays. Did you utilize that and you see you guys maybe using that more? Uh, yeah, I would say the quarterbacks definitely utilized it the most, but there's a few times that Coach Ross um, pulled me over and had me look at a couple things. How's the connection with Coach Ross? He had a really good opener for him. How's the connection as a team? Um, I, I'd say the connection is awesome. I think he's a very players focused coach and he's just, it's, you can just tell he's excited to see us every day and to work with us and he's just awesome to play for. And in terms of, uh, what were you saying about the? What do you think like his professional preferences? Oh, in running. He used to be a quarterback himself. Yeah. And you guys utilized a lot more passing game last weekend. So how do you connect to that as a running back? Um, well, he he also likes to use me in the passing game too. I feel like uh, if it's a man, if, if this is a defense that plays a lot of man, I should expect to get the ball a lot. Like last game, I had quite a few receiving yards for running back. Um, but yeah, I, he he wants to run the ball for sure. Um, I think we'll establish that this week. But he definitely has some tricks up his sleeve when it comes to the pass game for sure. Same question as I asked your teammate. Do you approach this season? Uh, I just go as hard as I can every rep I get because, you know, you could just like with my, my friend Travis, you never know when your last rep could be. And, you know, this my last season, mm -hmm. at least in college, I'm hoping to ball out hard enough to get opportunities somewhere else. But, yeah, just go as hard as I can.